So, DG and Snake are both two heavy guys that are going to be able to cover a lot of stage control between the Gordo, C4, Grenades, a lot of potential for, for huge damage from the other side of the screen. But on the other hand, we got two uh, two good close quarter characters, and plus the, the Chakram as well coming up from Restore Fighter and a Tornado. They could yeah. also help do some work. Yep. Uh, I don't I don't remember the numbers. I know there's the, the spin attack version of uh, me Sword Fighters up B. Like if you do Tornado to up B, it's a pretty good kill confirm. Yeah. It's not true in most uh, situations where from what I see, but still it catches a lot of people off guard. Anyways, let's go ahead and see. Already the DDD losing their first stock. Me Sword Fighter up air killed DDD at like 110. That's yeah. Oh yeah, because that's right. In this game, like false speed doesn't actually affect your vertical knockback like it is in previous Smash games. Yeah. Because oh, in other other Smash games, DDD is actually the hardest guy to kill off the top because he's a fast faller and a heavy. All right, KO punch on. Oh wow, he just disappeared off the screen after that KO punch. Great, it, it's it, looking it, really good. Yeah, it didn't even zoom in after that. I mean, I feel like just in general, Snake's kind of a hard character to play in doubles just because once he's in disadvantage. It's really hard for him to get back down, as you just saw right there. Oh, yeah. Like, his hitboxes are, come out kind of slow, so he's not really going to win those air-to-air -air trades. Sedge, are we about to see a six stock? Uh, potentially. No, no, we're not. OK, OK. okay. <laughs> I had to ask to make sure it didn't happen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Commentator's curse, man. So it still applies to all Smash Kings. All right, the Snake's going to get the little Mac off stage. All right, and that up tilt is a great cover coverage tool. But yeah, right now, looks like Green Tea's got most of the momentum, and I think we were talking about like you know the early doubles meta, where it's like you got two solid players versus not two two uh, players that maybe not at the same caliber, and then you're seeing the them doing the one v ones and the green team winning them out. Oh yeah, I, I think one of the big differences is when it comes to the disadvantage states from uh, from all these characters. The green team characters are just so much better at exploiting the disadvantage of the red team ones. So like they they pop them up once and they tend to not get to touch the ground and then just like, die yep. in the process. Like, they touch the ground maybe once, and they lose neutral one more time, and then they die. Great but, tech coming yeah. from his, uh, small, small fast bear, bear. but yeah. he's gonna just die at the end. Five stocks, the green team. Really not much more to be said. Just I think I think the most important thing is uh, red team needs to be a little bit more conservative. Uh, they need to be, like, more careful to stay closer to each other so that if one of them is getting popped up, they can actually save the other one because yeah. when they were both in the air, like DDD and Snake, both really slow moving air characters, and they don't have much to cover their falls on yeah. the way down, and they were just getting picked up for that over and over again. I think this is mostly just like a team composition thing because you have two slow, hard hitting, uh, poor air mobility characters. Yeah. So one of them is getting juggled. What's the other guy gonna do? Probably gonna get juggled. Also. Yeah, yeah. You know? If if he doesn't <laughs> if he doesn't like meet up immediately and save his friend, then he's left with the other guy. And if he loses neutral, then both of them lose their stocks because none of them are able to hit ground again. Oh yeah. So congratulations, first uh, SoCal regional, I'll say, and we already got a Mii Sword Fighter on stream right, for, the, for the first it's match. Like a brave new world, right? Like where now Mii's are relevant, and it's. They're free and relevant, and yeah. I think like me, Brawler is considered the worst of the three for most people I've talked to right now, which is crazy because like he was like the only me fighter for a lot of people in the previous one, uh, with the exception of Aimer, who was like yeah. rocking all of them. Yeah, and uh, Leaf was also doing me source fighter. That's right. This is a very interesting to see uh, for sure, and I like how in Ultimate they kept the the custom move sets for them. Yeah. So then people could be like, all right, shut up. This is supposed to be how they are played. Yeah, because yeah, before yeah. Before people make their like the argument is like, well, Palutena has all of hers. Yeah. Should we do it with her too? But all right, here we go. Moving on to the next match, we're going to Town and City. I mean, it was a much larger blast zone than Final Destination, so it does make sense to give uh, Red Team a little bit more wiggle room mm -hmm. when they're getting knocked up into the air. Also, these platforms are really going to help their disadvantage state. They're going to be able to land here and at least get some mix-ups in, so yeah. that they get they get a chance to talk a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, on the hazardless version, you see the the third platform is not. On top, like the like the battlefield uh, version or anything yeah. like that, it actually goes out. Oh wait, they they still move away and they, they come do back. They still move away. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, but okay. the the main difference is that uh, unlike in Smash Four or in Hazards On mode, when there's a formation, none of the platforms move in a formation. The platforms just stay there statically. Gotcha. Alrighty. The, the more you learn. Yeah. And actually, Town and City uh, is very very different from how it was in Smash Four, being the smallest stage. Uh, in Smash 4. Now it's the tallest stage. Yeah. So you definitely gotta <laughs> be, get used to that as well. It's a, it's a welcome change. Uh, I'm, I ain't big on small blast zones. Nice back air landing to just protect his teammate. Oh, uh, but immediately Mega Amiibo dies right afterwards. Yep. 
Yeah, and it's the S or what is that? Small fast bear lost his stock earlier to a shield break from Little Mac, and then got K Kale punched all the way to the top. But actually, even stocks going into this next match, so they're do definitely doing a lot better. <laughs> Double the stocks taken than in the first game for the uh, red team. I was, I was a little concerned because uh, Mega Miba had a choice of trying to help his teammate off the ledge, but he went in further on uh, that jacket guy. I'm not sure if that was the right call, but I mean, at the end of the day, Small Fast Bear made it back on stage. Oh, wow! Low angled F Smash gonna go ahead and tear through the dash attack. They're gonna be able to get a punish. No, F Smash the wrong way. Yes! Okay! <laughs> what? Little Mac actually is gonna be able to make it back from that. Surprise. Oh, never no. mind. Okay, got edge clip right there at the end. Wow, that dash attack, as the, as the Mi Sword Fighter was trying to save his friend, is just, you see a giant penguin just the, body slam on top of you. The thing that was crazy is that if, it looked like the jab graphic actually reached Little Mac, but I think the hitbox is just a little bit smaller than it appears. Yeah, very strange indeed. Oh, okay, so the TDDB is going to be able to live just a little bit longer. I think a hard time. Oh, okay. I think he was trying to back away, uh, maybe get get away from where the Mi Sword Fighter was, and then cause some uh, wonky DI. Wait a minute. I, I I now just realize is friendly fire on or off right now? I don't know. I'm sure I'm sure it's on. I think uh 2GG like set the rule sets earlier. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw, I was at setup yesterday and I saw them do that, so. Okay, okay, cool, cool. We do have uh you actually a one to two, this is so much better than the way the previous game ended. Yeah. You're Almost. Yeah. Almost had a setup going there, which I, I like that they're at least trying to get something going, um, at least in their earlier stages of the, the double meta right now. It shows the right fundamental idea. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Chakram just takes it away. Man, he can't get hit by that up air one more time. Yep. Okay. Yeah, shoots out the little Mac, and during that lag, just gets forward smashed. I, I think the idea that... Uh, Mega Amiibo was going with that swallow. Is he was trying to swallow the one in front so he could spit them out at the one behind. So he was trying to swallow me, Sword Fighter, but he overshot and got the guy in the back. And at that point, you're just gone. Right? Right. Like that's that's usually the trick if you're being two v one and they're on like very close quarters. You hit one.